Hey guys, my name is Ismael. Welcome to Top 10 101. So in this video, I want to show you how to add users to your website, uh, to your WordPress websites. Uh, people who can uh, be admins uh, on your website, people who can post uh, blogs or articles on your website, who can edit uh, your website, who, people who can access the back end of your website. Uh, but before we get started, make sure to leave a like, subscribe as always to support the channel. And go into your WordPress dashboard and go to, <coughs> uh, to users and then add new user. Enter the username. I uh, let's say test user. I uh, can enter their email address, so I'll just enter mine, and then the name, uh, last name, and everything. Uh, the website is optional. Uh, then the password. You can uh, WordPress will generate the password for you. Uh, so this email here you enter here, they will get a, notif a notification uh, with the password you have generated here. So make sure that uh, the email you send you add in here is a valid email and it's the email you of uh, the user you're creating and then uh, the most important part here is uh, the role of the user uh, so subscriber is just uh, someone who has who doesn't really have access to the back end of your website they just subscribe to your uh, to your to your website uh, contributor is someone who can contribute let me show you the profiles as uh, let me just add the user and I, I show you uh, let me first copy this. I don't know if I can copy it from here. Uh, so let me just first edit this and uh, go to the password. Where is the password? Just generate a password, copy it, and uh, just to test to test out this our user, I will just incognito mode and then test out that username. So WP. I just want to show you how roles work and uh, why they are important. I uh, saw so the test, the username was test, test user and uh, the password was generated. So login. Okay, let's see, let's see what is wrong. Did I copy it right? So test user, test user. Okay, so, oh. If you generate the password, make sure to update. I forgot to do that, uh, so that uh, the password we paste in here works. Okay, so we are logged in, and so I want to show you the difference in the role. So, if someone has the role of a subscriber, update. Uh, when they log in, uh, so let's. You can see these are the only options they will have access to. Uh, they can view the posts you have created. Uh, these are the only links they will have access to. Uh, so when you change their user uh, to say someone like a contributor, and update. So you can see this is what uh, a subscriber has access to. If we refresh because we have updated uh, their role here, uh, their dashboard should also update update so if you refresh you can see now they can post on your website and uh, even edit how oh, they can they can't edit I think they can't uh, so they can add a, they can create a new post but they can't uh, edit anything are uh, you posted yourself uh, so we if we change uh, the role again uh, to an author and refresh so now they can post and uh, they can create new posts and uh, even add uh, uh, even uh, uh, review comments and uh, uh, so if we change uh, the role again to say to editor and refresh you can see now they can add pages and uh, even get a few more options there uh, so the then we have administrator this is so administrator is the role you want to really be very careful about uh, because they have all the uh all, all the privileges you have yourself and uh, the most important one is that uh, let's refresh here they can also go into users and then change edit your role as the administrator uh, because uh, in this account I'm the administrator and uh, my account name is and my username is Ismael's VFX. Uh, so if I gave someone else an administrator role, they can come in and change 
a my row there and I won't be able to access uh, this page anymore so that's the row you want to really be careful about so let me give back access to myself so you really need to be very careful about who you give uh, administrator role on your uh, WordPress website yeah so that's uh, how you add users and if you want to delay the user you just go uh, <coughs> you just go to users again and then delete user and uh, they won't uh, confirm so you can delete even the content they contributed or not uh, so and then if they come if they try to access the page again uh, WordPress will log them out. Uh, so yeah, that's how you add and delete users on WordPress. Uh, yeah, so thank you.